Good evening, all, and welcome to Calvar's Corner for this week's What's Your Plan Wednesday. I am Lord Calvar de Guiler, Companion of the Meridian Cross, Companion of the Argent Comet, Companion of the Compostela and Reaper, coming to you live once again from the Barony of the Osprey on the southern coast of Meridiades. Yes, I have come back from my travels, and I am once again in my studio and in my fancy comfy chair and not having to stream from a really crappy wooden chair, and I'm happy for that. So... This evening, I am joined by a dear friend of mine, uh, my first actual non-SCA guest. Uh, he's a writer, comedian, actor, animated bunny, and the man who, and I kid you not, once tried to proclaim himself as Switzerland in a medieval arms race, Mr. Scott Carroll. Welcome to the channel, Scott. I, it is great to be here. Thank you. Yes, I was Switzerland because I was going to hold all their gold while they fought. Right. <laughs> So, so Scott and I have a lot of history together. There is, there are definitely some stories we will tell throughout tonight. But uh, Scott, why don't we go ahead and start off with a give a little introduction: who you are, where you're from, what you do. Sure. Uh, my name is Scott J. Carroll. I'm an actor, comedian, writer. I'm aficionado of flannel and silly hats. Uh, I also am a host over at Geeky Side TV. Uh, I host, uh, I co-host a show under review. Uh, as well as our show Entertainment Spotlight, where I sit down and interview celebrities, entertainers, and other people in the geeky community. Uh, and and you were kind enough to come on as well, and it was a wonderful time that we had. Yeah, it, it, it was definitely it was nice to catch up, nice to just get to goof off a little bit, and not not have to do work. It was so weird oh, to be yeah. in the stream yard and not get to push buttons. <laughs> that is well, great. I, I, I appreciate you being on, man. I, and I knew uh, the minute I. I uh, you asked me to be on your show. I was like, well, damn it. Now I got to have Scott come play a game with me. This has got to happen, clearly. Oh, man. It's almost <laughs> as if. Cross promotion is a thing, right? Oh, no. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Do I get like a special badge for being the first non SEA guest? I, I will, yes. I will make sure you get a special badge. I will yes. make that happen. I'll, yes. I'll, do a, I'll do a Scott special sticker. So. It, it, it needs to be flannel, apparently. Of, because oh, well, of course it will. Yeah, of course it will. And covered in glitter. I, I discovered just before we just before we went on air tonight that not only is my shirt and hat flannel, uh, but my makeup bag matches my hat. Yes, it does. It has to. Why would it not? And he has a makeup bag because he's an actor. And of course, all actors have makeup bags. Of course. I, you, you, you have to have a go bag ready. You never know when you get a call from that agent that says, we need you in full hair and makeup in 20 minutes because they're filming a movie and now you're famous. Right, and, and you are, frankly, a celebrity. So I, I'll, I'll take it. You're also my first real celebrity guest. So there you go. Oh, that's two badges. I'm right. Two badges. Up. All the badges, Scott. So we'll all right. So we're... enough ridiculousness. Well, well, we have time for ridiculousness. But let's start playing some games. So tonight's game, uh, you know, this is literally what this entire show is about. Uh, this is a weird one. It's a uh, as with most games, it is uh, there. Are, we have no rules for it. Um, we, we are basing the rules tonight off of some stuff that I found online, some uh, some some person's best guess. Um, and I've also modified them slightly to make them make more sense, because when I first read the read the reconstruction uh, for Louis Bo, uh, I went, huh, and had to read through it again and went, huh. And I went, OK, I think this makes sense. I literally had to draw the board out and like play through what they said exactly as it was and then it still didn't work so uh i, I made some adjustments I, I sort of tuned this up but uh louisbo is a uh first of all the historical side uh so dates back to the han dynasty uh so uh 200 to 200 bc to 220 a.d uh were the popular times uh it's dated back to you know thousand ish before that uh but the uh, the heyday of the game was that was that 400 year period uh it seem to trickle out after that as uh, backgammon became more popular. Uh, I'm sure also Go was a, was another game at the time because you were in that China region that where Go is also popular. Um, that you know we, we see the boards in this time period and we see other boards in that time period and the games that became more popular were ones like Batgammon or Nard. Um, and I don't really know why. Uh, I probably marketing somebody marketed one better that would be my guess because marketing seems around the world even you know a few thousand years ago so were there um, were there han dynasty marketing teams I, yeah of course there were 
I mean, there had to be like, because if you think about like all of the like the, any of the imperial courts, they had like the guy that managed the things. I'm sure they had somebody for each of the like businesses that did their marketing. I mean, it may have also been like the head cook and the chief bottle washer because they didn't have many employees at the time. But you know, marketing was a concept, so why not? They had signs, they had advertisements, so. or at least I'm saying they did. I don't know. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not an archaeologist, um, but. So looking at the game, it's really interesting. So the 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 boards they found and the pieces they found uh, are fairly simple. Uh, the, the pieces are fairly simple, but the board's actually relatively complex. And I'll actually, I'll go and bring the board up so you can look at it. Because I, when I first saw the board, I was like, the board looks really neat. And I thought the game was going to be way harder than it actually is. Uh, now, I've taken this board and modified it slightly so that it's easier to play. Uh, so imagine this board without all the extra red, without the red numbers on it. It looks like a really cool board. Uh, and apparently it also was used for divination, like so many other things that involved any kind of dice or tossing was, uh, it was used for some sort of divining as well. Um, but the, so the game is played, uh, it's a two player game. So just like backgammon, um, and the traditional way to determine movement was by dice sticks. Uh, so each player would roll, would roll six sticks in two groups of three. Which actually leads into the name of the game. Uh, the translation bits are there. It's like it's like six stick or six uh, six toss, something like that, something of that nature. Um, and the the cool thing about it is the the six the sticks were then read in two groups of three instead of one group of six. So you're actually rolling essentially two dice, or what we would see is two dice uh, instead of a single die roll. Uh, so for tonight, we'll be using two four sided dice. Uh, which does not give the same probability. We've talked about this before. Uh, the probability of dice sticks versus a single four-sided dice will be different. Uh, but, uh, you know, as I've said, as long as you, these players are using the same thing, the game is still fair and even, uh, and I will still lose. So that's all that matters. <laughs> um, but uh, so when looking at it, the, you roll the dice, you move around the board, um, and it's, you know, you're trying to get to the center, right? That's the first objective. Now, this, unlike backgammon, is not just a get to the end and win. Uh, there are other games where there's get to the end and then you get a dude that gets to kill things. And that's where it gets fun. Uh, so uh, Mayhem uh, has a, a similar mechanic where you have a line at the end. Uh, so this has where you get an owl. Once you get uh, one of your dudes to the end, it turns into an owl and then he gets to start going backwards trying to eat the other pieces. And that's actually how you win is by capturing the other player's pieces. Um, so couple special rules and we'll hit these as we go um let me pull my rules up here so each player will roll two dice uh and you get to move two different pieces so you, and you do have to move two pieces unlike in back game where you can move one with both so it is moving two pieces per turn the a single players can occupy uh, the same space so multiple of my pieces or scott's pieces can occupy the same space but if we occupy the other player's space that piece is knocked off the board and back to start um, which I'm guessing, based on the the way this game's going to start, that will happen a lot for the first couple turns. Um, because we're both starting in a very small place, rolling two pieces, so there'll be a lot of pieces moving back and forth. So uh, that will be an interesting... I'm curious to see how that actually plays out. Um, once a player gets to the end, their piece turns into an owl. The owl then has can go clockwise or counterclockwise. We'll be going uh, counterclockwise for most of the game. Um it also has a special rule where it can use both dice uh, as opposed to just one. And the, any piece it lands on is captured and scored as points. Um, now, the way to win, uh, to win, the player must capture all their opponent's pieces or they must capture the owl with a regular piece or have five or more pieces on the board but no owl and their opponent has an owl that has moved. And that was a weird rule. That, that's a weird, like, I guess we'll, we'll we'll try to keep an eye on that, but that's going to be hard to watch for. But uh, so if you ever have five rule pieces on the board and no owl, pay attention to that, Scott. I'll I'll, I'll leave you in charge of that rule. Oh yeah, thanks. Good. Yeah, you're welcome. I, I got it. Like, that's a very specific thing. Like I'm guessing that was one of those like the four year old was playing and went, oh no, I win, and they went, yeah. <laughs> all right, and they had, and they wrote it down because that kid said they won. That's um, what I'm guessing it happened. The emperor's kid just made this new rule. We can't say no. Right. That you know, that's clearly what happened. So um, let's see. Da, 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 da. I think I've got everything. Oh, okay. So there are special things I'll show on the board here. Let me pull the board back up. All right. So as you're moving around, the six and the eleven are special. 
Um, it has there's a special little wormhole that goes from six to sixteen, and from eleven to one. Uh, so if you ever want to jump, so obviously going six to sixteen would move you up in the uh, in the order of movement. Eleven to one is technically moving backwards, but if you wanted to do it to capture a piece or to uh, knock a piece off, it might make sense to do that. Um, so you have that option. If you if you ever start a turn on the six or uh, the eleven, you can jump across as your first movement and then continue moving. Right. So, uh, other than that, the pieces will go one through twenty eight in order. Uh, in a counterclockwise motion. Uh, da, 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 I think that's it. So, yeah. So, cool. So, let's play. Uh, so, Scott, would you like to be the black or the white tokens? Um, that is an excellent question. Uh, since I'm looking at my screen and I'm right-handed, the white tokens are on the right side. So, that's the logic I'm going to go with. I'm going to take the white ones. There you go. And as the guest, you will get to roll first. So, please go ahead and do that. Oh. We'll get started. All right. Here we go. Um Oh, I have to bring up a couple comments from our from our audience. Um, they're both uh, they cannot compute Scott's existence without Eris. <laughs> and, uh, agreed, it is strange to see just the Scott buddy without the Erisaurus by his side. So yes, they are in fact two separate people. I I, I didn't know that for a while. It's true. We are. Eris is uh, she's in Seattle right now doing uh, some amazing work yes. with uh, a nonprofit. Um, I am still just outside New Orleans right now doing. Um, so Eris is doing amazing work. <laughs> you okay? No, st stop it. You are doing amazing things with with Geeky Side TV and all of your production yes. stuff and all that. So, yes, uh, Geeky Side is an absolutely. Uh, it's great. I, we'll we'll get to, we'll get to all that later. Right. So right. you may not be saving the world like Eris is, but at least you're you're doing something, sir. I'm making people laugh, which is damn right. close. That's right. All right. So you've got a four and a one. So go ahead and grab two pieces and move them to the I guess to the one and to the four. Oh, uh, another rule: If you roll a one, a one, and a, or a four, four, uh, you get a bonus turn. Cool. So, All right. So special one. All right. So that is your first turn. I'll take my first turn. <laughs> okay. So, so this is what I'm talking about. So, so now we just play trade the pieces off. Oh God. I, see, I do this, and, and this may be one of those. The the uh, the probability of this will be more likely. Um, because we're using four sided dice and not the dice sticks. Yeah. Um, but realistically, the dice sticks are, are weighted heavy two and three, as opposed to being evenly distributed. So it's actually going to be more likely to happen. So I don't know. All right, your I, turn, sir. You know, I got a good feeling about this one. Here we go. <laughs> oh, yep. Man. All right. I was going to take you. I was going to move here, here, guys. There. All right. right. This one, the number, the one I've put on number four, yeah. I will name him Steven. Oh, that's that's Steve. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. so that is that is now Steven. Everybody has to remember that. That is Steven. There, We're there rooting for Steven. Place. Yay! Steven. Okay, four and two. Okay. No, Steven. So, yeah. So, St Steve Steven goes back in the box. Oh. And I go to four. All right. All right. Let's see if we can so, so now you have a piece on the board still, so you can move one and enter one. I do. So uh let's see. Oh, I can bring my one to four and revenge Steven. Yep, yep, yep. And then I will put Reginald on one. Let's okay, all right. Here. There we go. I'm gonna have such a hard time remembering these names. Let's see. It's okay, so we have Reginald on one and Steven's Steve. on four. Steve, oh, Steven's on four now? Okay. No, so. no, no. Steve, Steven's back on one. Reginald is on four. Got it. Okay. We're good. All right. Two and one. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go. Oh, see, that's two is there. Right, I'm going to go one with that guy. And then we'll go two with that guy. Try to keep people on the board and see if we can progress Steve. the game along a smidgen. Because <laughs> I, 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 like I, I looked at that and was like, this is going to be a lot of just bouncing back and forth for the first couple turns. I guess if, but if, like that, okay. But okay, yeah. but you can you, if you move your four out, I can put that on the six. Wait, no, to the I can't five. do that. I could put him on five. You can go to the five or to the eight. Uh, let's let's jump him way ahead so no one can bother him. Okay, and so then your four, and then that goes on two. Yep, and then get, get out of here. Got it. Get, yeah. get out of here. 
There you go. All right, we're making progress. Yeah. So, yeah, so I, yeah, I think at that point, if you can get one further out, that makes the more sense. All right, so I'm going through and three, so I'm going to go one, two, and three. Get that guy to the six, and then I'll put one on the three. So, three, so three, I three, could three, have three. stacked up three on the three, uh, but I think that would have been a bad plan because I would have lost three pieces had you rolled a three. So. That's true. It's probably going to be a one and a four again. Just that's probably. just the nature, the nature of this beast. Yeah. <laughs> It's like you're psychic or something. That's funny. Oh, yeah. random number generator. Why? <laughs> but one and four are both both even currently, so we're good. They are. They are. All right. So what I what I can do, I can put. Uh, so I'm going to put this guy that's on eight. I'm going to move him over here to nine, and then I'm going to take another piece and put that on the four. Oh, there you go. There you go. Because I think that's something I can do. Uh, that, yeah, that was that's correct. So yeah, use the one and the four. That works out. All right. I mean, haven't had a bonus turn yet. I'm actually surprised by that. Yeah. All right. So let's see. I've got a two and a three. I'm gonna go two, six to seven, six, seven, eight. Actually, no, no. I'm gonna go six to sixteen. And oh. Then Seventeen. Uh -huh, there we go. Oh. So that was my two out of two and a three, right? Yep. And then I'll go. Four, five, six with that one. All right. Your turn, sir. Um, Come on. One and four. Oh, oh, I got a four. Four and a three. Four. All right. So, uh, uh, I can put the three. I can put this guy. Oh, no, I can't. Dang it. Go 10, 11, 12 with the yeah. three. Or I 13 with the four. Yeah. Hmm. I will do that. We'll put this guy over to 12. And then we'll put this guy's on two. We'll put him on six and get out of here. Rude. Rude. Wow. So we've, we've had multiple people in the comments now make the, uh, the who's on first joke. <laughs> We're doing this, you know, one's on six, two's on third. Yeah. I don't um, know. Third, yeah, base. Well, third base. All right. Four and a two. All right. So we're going to go. I can't go that. All right. So we're going to go uh, one, two, and then we'll go four. Boink. Oh, that was Humphrey. Oh, that was Humphrey. Okay. So we got Reginald, Stephen, and Humphrey. We're good. All right. I already forgot. I already <laughs> forgot all their names. <laughs> all right. So I can go uh, six to 16, was it? Uh, correct. Yeah. So, so that would be one, and then right. you're moving from there. Yeah. So six to sixteen is one, seventeen, eighteen, and yeah. then I'm going to put one on the board. There you go. So what I'm doing right now in my head, mm -hmm. the strategy I have is because uh, telling you the strategy is smart. Remember that right. episode of uh, Star Trek: The Next Generation? where they've got like that weird computer game where they just go like this because they've got like O2 sensors on their yeah. fingers and Data can't beat the guy because he's just super smart. And then at the end of the episode, Data's like, oh, I wasn't playing to win. I was just playing to not lose. That's my plan. Just not lose. Go go, go with the Android strategery. I like it. Oh, that's how it's, it's, it's actually impossible for you to lose because uh, you're playing me on my show. Therefore, I can't win. So you have to win. Or I don't. We're gonna be in some quantum lose state. I don't know. I've already got two badges that don't exist. That's true. <laughs> That's true. I guess you. I guess you could be the first loser ever on Calvar's Corner. <laughs> I. You know. I would not. I would honestly not be surprised. All right. What well, I got? I got a one to two. One to two. Yeah. All right. I got. Oh. Oh. It's underneath. It's under the die. Oh no. So I don't know what number. That's twelve. I think. Yeah. That's twelve. Yep. So yeah, we'll put 12, that guy. On lucky number 13. And this guy over to... Th mm, no. No. Three would get me to uh, 19, 20, 21. Yeah. I had to take the hat off. It was too tight. I couldn't think. <laughs> I'm squeezing your brain. I'm flannelless now. Oh, wait. No, I'm still good. No, no you're not. I was like, you're no, no, sir. Oh, 
Huzzah! Oh, nice. Double turn. B -b -b Double turn. All right. So we're going to go across here. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to go to four. And then I get to go again. Skadoosh. Three and a four. All right. So we're going to go 23, one, two, three, four. And then we'll go one, two, three. Cool. All right, let's do this. I got this. Uh, I got feelings. I I just made a boo boo for anybody watching out there. I could have bounced one of Scott's pieces, and I didn't count it right properly. I I thought I thought you were going yeah. to, yeah. but no, I didn't, I didn't see it. I didn't want to. I didn't want to say anything. You know. Oh, that's that's fair. I, I I will try to point out my mistakes as I do them. It's one of the things about this board because the way it's numbered, and I, I numbered it the way it made sense, the way it sort of mm -hmm. dictated it. But you're going around in, in a counterclockwise, but these the, these little inset squares make the counting kind of weird, so it's not as easy to see it. Yeah. Which actually, in my opinion, makes it a little more competitive. So I'm on twenty. I'm oh, I'm on twenty one. Twenty one. All right. Yeah. So I'll just go to twenty five right here. Does that no? Am no. I an owl yet or no? No, you're you're not an owl yet. Your your okay. owl piece would be so. There's a little owl piece off to the side that we'll swap out with. All right. So what was my other number? I lost the dice. It was uh, a four, and a, four and a two. A two. So if you look to your right hand side of your screen, you should have a chat in the red and roll twenty. Oh. It look at look at this future that we're in. I know, right? Look at Playing that. Playing games the digital age, man. Man, okay. So if I had a four and a two, then I'm just going to slide over to three. There we go. Okay. Uh, four to two. All right. So we're going to go seven, 28 to the center, which gives me my owl. Ah, okay. Why am I talking like that? Oh, it's, you, you, you have actor voice on. I heard I it. Do. It was that you know what it is? You know what it is, dude? I just watched uh, like three different things from Red Letter Media, and I've got Rich Evans in my head. Oh, yeah. So his voice is just in my head. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, that. why don't we do that? That's smart. Yeah, why, don't we, side. why don't we offset them to the numbers that they're on? <laughs> we learn as we play, Scott. That's how this game works. <laughs> okay. We're adults. I, I disagree strongly. We have, we have jobs and responsibilities. Uh, All right. So I'll give you I'm that. Gonna, I'm going to put this guy on the 28 because I had a three. And then I had a one. So I'm going to put another one on the board. I like how you made a new rule and then immediately broke it. Oh, my God. You're right. <laughs> you're like, let's all set him a bit. And then you just did <laughs> You know, it's been a long day, man. I'm trying uh, to four. I'm trying to learn I'm trying to be multicultural and learn new things. All right, so I'm moving my owl. I'm moving my owl one to this twenty-eight. Oh yeah, oh, I knew it. Which oh. will capture that first blood. Oh. All right, I'm making the progress here. All right, man, we're gonna you... go let's see. So uh so getting more pieces to the end doesn't actually help me because the owl um, you can only ever have one owl. So this is now an interesting strategy of I can't, like I have to move two pieces, but I may not want to move pieces. So it's like, I have to look at what do what I need to move. So let's see. So 19, here we go. 11, one, two, three, four. All right. So yeah, so that, that now changes the strategy a little bit in the, of I'm not necessarily trying to get to the end. So if you can't, if you can only have one owl on the board, you can't move them that way. You're saying that the owls are not what they seem. Well, except the owl is what you have to have to score. Oh, uh, it's a Twin Peaks reference. Oh, so I've never seen Twin Peaks. I'm sorry. What? So I, don't judge me. Don't don't you judge me, Scott? What? I what, it, 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 just, it's, it's a seminal event in television culture, sir. Never seen it. I oh. Yeah. Oh, we are going to have words after this show, right. sir. I'm, I'm sensing a Twin Peaks viewing party coming up. That's what's happening. Oh, oh, God. yeah. Can we do that? That sounds awesome. All right. I have to play the game. Right. Yes. Okay. But focus, Scott. Focus. 
All right, so I'm gonna send uh, this. I had a four, right? Okay, so, uh, let's see. So yeah. Apparently, Scott could have had an owl. Did we miss something? Let's see. What? Right now? Or uh, before? Um, oh, um, he's saying on the last turn, maybe. No. Oh no. Okay. So yeah, I, I don't. I don't. Th I don't think that's correct. Uh, I think when you because you rolled the one three and you got the thing to the twenty eight. And then I took your your last piece, so that would have pushed you. So yeah, I don't I don't think that's correct. Um, but we'll have to roll the tape back and check that. So we have to get to the twenty eight, and then an extra step into the box. So we have correct. to get up to a twenty nine. Okay. Yeah, so twenty twenty nine is the owl space. Okay. All right. It's, uh, it has there's a name for it. It's like the pool or the tree or something. It has a cool name. Because th those are very very similar. Right. You know, it's one it, one it, is look. I know there's a special name. I've forgotten what it is now. Uh, I'll find it in a second. All right, I'll find it in a second. You you hired me to give you a hard time. No, you're you're absolutely correct. <laughs> Look, a one and a one. All right, let's see what I got here. Um, does that give you a? Do you get to? Do, is that a special one? I, I get a bonus turn. Nice. Uh, so that's that's definitely that. Let's see. We're gonna go twenty-seven, twenty-six. So I'm, I'm gonna use both pieces on my owl because I can do that. Oh, okay. And I will uh, roll again. Again, there's that there's that Rich Evans voice. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. So 20, 26. I got a seven or a three and a four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven doesn't help me. I like how you made fun of me for not following the new rules, and then you also didn't follow yeah. the new rules. You're you're correct. I didn't either. Uh, let's go one, two, three. And then we're going to go, ooh, ooh. Let's see, actually, you know, you're on three there, aren't you? Hold on. Yes, I am. I'm on three. Two, three, hold on. All right, so we're going to go. Oh, you took back. You did a take backsies? I, I did a take backsies. Oh. One, two, three. We'll do that. Okay. All right. Do that there, and then we'll go one, two, three, four to that there. No, I, I just forgot there was another side of the board. I was focused on these two pieces. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait, there's other things going on over here. I totally missed that. The only really the oh I I already messed that reference up. I'll just sit on that one and pull it back out later. Okay. All right, and well, hmm, a four and a three, that would I can head over here to twenty, and the revenge of Reginald. Oh no! Get out of here! Dang it, Reginald! So one of the one of the weird things that I just randomly started doing, my uh, my wife and I were out at um, a museum one day, and I was just doing stupid voices the entire day, and we, yeah. we walked into the impressionist section, and there was a Degas on the wall, and for whatever reason, like my New Jersey came out super hard, and I went, "Get out of here, Degas," and it was the stupidest thing, but it just became. Uh, a running joke between us. So every time I see a Degas or any kind of art, I just go, get out of here. Did you just, did, did you just? I did. I did. In fact. Get out of here. There you go. I was, I was entertaining everyone with a story and you, sir. So rude. Rude. I know. I can't, I, I can't, I can't. Oh my God. All right, so I know, I know they're four sided dice, and each die has a twenty five percent chance of rolling any of the numbers. We have rolled an absurd amount of that combination. Yes, we have. Can I get another badge that just says one and four? <laughs> that's sure. That's, that's three badges now. Let's make you track of this. Hey, hey, hey Runa, you're watching. Keep track of the badges I owe Scott. <laughs> Goodness gracious! All right, did you move? Did you actually do a thing yet? I did. I did. Okay, cool. I. I got the revenge oh, of yeah. Reginald of Humphrey. Four to two. All right, let's see. I, I gotta start moving here. Uh, Twenty-five. So one, two, three, four, and then we'll go one, two. Yeah. Oh, you. I'm genuinely surprised you didn't just knock more of my pieces off the board. Yeah, I was. Well, I was considering it. But I realized that to win, I've got to get the owl progressing towards you, and I need your pieces on the board. Ah. So, yeah. like, you know, 
I appreciate a, the kindness. Right. There's a weird like quasi defensive offensive thing going on here. Yeah. All right. I got a one and a one, so I get the special rule. I get to go again. Yep. 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 All right. So I'll just do these and roll again. B -b -b Bonus turn. Two and a three. Uh. Oh, wait. This is a three, so I can send this guy over to six. Yep. And two. I'll oh, just put another right. one on the board. There you go. All right. Four to one. Oh, careful. Don't want to get a copyright strike. <laughs> it's true. And we'll go 22, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I, I'm, uh, I, I haven't worried about any things. Like, I, I haven't had any things that have been copyrighted on the, on, the, on the channel at all, but, uh, I don't have enough viewers to for anybody any for any of those people to care. So, uh, it's a two, a two and a one. Okay, all right. So I can go from six to sixteen, right? Uh, correct. Yep. So that would be one, and then and then over to seventeen here, Ooh. and we'll just uh, put this guy on six. There we go. You say. Uh, you say you don't have anything copyright, but I'm my face is pretty close to Rick Moranis right now. That's that's true. I might get a cease and desist for him. Like I was on your show, but I, you, I promised you weren't Rick Moranis. I promised you weren't. Well, no, I'm what I'm what it looks like when Rick Moranis finally gives up. Right. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, you are you are uh, like his his weird love child or something. It's it's so weird. You know, I came on your show to try to learn a game, and you made fun of me, so I'm going to go call a lawyer. And I know a really good lawyer. You know, he helped me get a whole case solved the other day. Didn't even have to go to court. Settled outside of the court for just eating a hot dog at the stand. It was really nice. Okay, I'm done now. <laughs> oh, Gene Scott. <laughs> So uh, to the viewers out there, this is my friend Scott. He's ridiculous. Also, if you have any questions while we're playing, I, I Fred early. If you have any questions or, or you uh, you see something we do wrong or, or you know uh, why we did something, please ask them. Throw them in the chat. We'll try to answer them. Or if you have a question that you want to hear Scott answer, oh, uh, just pitch it this way. I don't care what it is. Just pitch this question in this direction, and I'll, I'll make sure Scott answers it for you. I, li I like how you didn't even you didn't even bother asking me first. You're like, nope, do you nope. want Scott to answer stuff? I'll make him do it. <laughs> Mostly because I know you will. You'll just do it. You'll be like, all right, that's cool. I'll do it. It's true. It's true. Uh, was that a special roll or is that my turn again? Uh, three. No, yeah, just just the one, one, and four, four. So it is your turn. Okay. So ordinarily, when you're playing this with dice sticks, the one, one, and four, four are harder to achieve. That's why they're the bonus turns. In this case, it's really no difference. Um, also, so Runa says, what about Rick Moranis plus Kevin Smith's a love child? Okay. I'll take it. Yeah, I can I see that. Yeah, that's a that's a compliment, sort of. I'm concerned. That is. Hang on. Do I do I have a baseball cap in here? I can put on backwards. I don't. I you don't like a, like a like a big black jacket and do the Silent Bob look. Damn it. Well, I mean, Kevin Smith and I are both from Jersey, so I wait. I didn't move. I was. I, was, I didn't move my pieces. You cheated. Wait, it's three. Go ahead, please. I, I will. I will uh, here move my dice. Oh, cheated you, so bad. All right. So if I recall correctly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I now have five pieces and an owl on the board. You don't have an owl. I have an owl. Oh, so oh, I thought it was five pieces plus just a general owl. All right, so it says, have five or more pieces on the board, but no owl. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold, oh. Oh. hold on. Do you have five or more pieces on the board? Where's your... I see one. Well, you have five or more pieces on the board, but no owl, and their opponent has an owl that moved. You just won. Yes! No joke. Oh my god, I did it! I totally forgot about that. I, I forgot that was a thing. You told me to remember that. I, that's one. why I forgot about it. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. What, what, and, and is, that, is that behind that, victory? Scott takes one home. Is is that a record? Is that the fastest the game's ever been won on the show? Uh I I, I don't I'll have to look. I'll have to check that. All I'm right. Fishing, well, I'm fishing for, for, for badges now. Right. 
<laughs> well, see, we're 36 minutes in, so I think I, I think we can reset and uh, play again. So give me a second, I'll yeah. reset the board. That, well, well done, Scott. That was impressive. Thank you. Okay, so so that right there. So th okay, so tactically now, that points out a you have to be aggressive with the owl to get back, or that can happen. So I let you get pieces on thinking, oh, I need more pieces to be able to then have something to attack. And I forgot about the, the caveat. And that's probably why it keeps you from doing the like stalemate effect, essentially. Yeah. So cool. All right. Yeah. Also, whoever whoever did say the Kevin Smith uh, Rick Moranis combo, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Like the, the more I sit on that, the, the the cooler I am with that. All right. I'm changing hats. Oh, oh, are we changing hats? Hang on. I got yes. a, I got I got All one. Right. All right, hang on. I'm gonna put it on out of frame. All right, let's go. Apparently, uh, Scott played you played the Kasparov lightning move to win. So, <laughs> I'm I'm assuming that's a chess reference. Yes, yes, it's it is. Shimon there. Okay, it's chess reference. Thank you for that, Shimon. There you go. Uh, I'm um, gonna open by castling. Um, and <laughs> then I'm going to uh, I'm going I'm gonna do the reverse refrigerator. Reverse uh, then my plan, my plan is to do the uh, upside down swing set. I'm pretty sure we have to ask your wife before you do any reverse refrigerators, don't you? <laughs> pretty sure we see yeah, there's, there's a discussion needs to get had first. All right, two and three. There you go. All, All right, right, your turn. Uh, so doing... I was asked in the chat, Scott, what is your favorite dinosaur? That is an excellent question. Uh, I know it may seem. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm going to go with Dilophosaurus because they are tiny, yet they are uh, they've got spunk. That yeah, no, that, that tracks. And, and describes your wife oddly enough. Speaking speaking of your lovely wife, she is both tiny and has spunk. Dude, my my wife is funnier than I will ever be, and she. Oh wait, no, sorry. I thought I had I thought you were on a four there. Uh no. my wife is funnier than I will ever be, and she is so clever. Mm -hmm. Uh we've started doing uh live streams of video games, and she'll have a joke. I'll have a joke kind of forming, and she'll have one better than mine and beat me to it. Uh, if you watch some of our episodes of Under Review, which is kind of our uh love child of mystery science theater meets aperture science. Um, my wife has written some of the funniest jokes in that show jokes that when we are in the writing room are, they leave me in stitches. Some of them were so amazing and so good, but we couldn't put them on air. <laughs> I what were they okay it's also uh okay good you rolled again yeah i did why couldn't you put them on air because uh the jokes we write for under review since they air on geeky side tv have to still be advertiser friendly oh that's true because so yeah, we still you, have you, to be yeah. in certain censorship levels and right. some of them were really good but we could there's there's one episode we did of under review um it's it's probably my favorite short that we because if you haven't seen the show um it's very similar to mystery science theater it's it's our homage to it um we have a setting where we're we're trapped in a place and we're forced to watch uh old educational shorts from the 50s and 60s and there was one about the lunchroom and because of the color grading on it every single child looked like a a little nazi and some of the jokes that she said in that were so good, but they just could not get on air. Right. Uh, and again, if you haven't seen, uh, if you haven't seen any under review, I just, Which I, I highly I'm, recommend it as I'm an to find a link. Do you, have, do you have a link available? I was trying to find a link to share and I can't find it. Um, it it's all, uh, if you just go to geeky side, TV.com. It's, oh, that's uh, right. Yeah. It's all on geeky side. I'm over here searching under review. I'm like, I know I've seen it out here. Goodness gracious. Where is it? Hold on. Yeah, it exists. Ooh, double I fours. I get, I get to go again again. You, you get to go again again. That's right. 16, 17, 18, 19. Com. There it is. And put you on five. Yes, yeah, I, was, I, I, was, will... I, was, I was searching YouTube. That was my first problem. <laughs> uh, I will add this one caveat. 
Uh, it did take us a couple episodes to find our footing, so it really gets solid around episode three. By all means, watch all of them. Uh, but episode three is where it really starts to find its uh, its zeal. Right. It, it, it takes a minute to, to, to get your to get your thing together. And that's is, is that the first time that you and Eris and, and Alexis had done something at the three of y'all together? Yes. Yeah. Uh, for a long, long, long time, my wife would only do uh, behind the scenes stuff. Right. Uh, she's finally uh, coming out of her shell, and she's. Uh, I am so glad and so proud of her because she's so insanely funny. She's at times funnier than I will ever be. And it's both wonderful and imposing at the same time. And it's fantastic. Scott, how are you on a 22 already? Because I had a six and then went over and then I had the double rolls. Oh, okay. That's fair. Yeah. So you cheated. Got it. Let's see. One, two, three, four. So you know what's uh, really interesting about this game is when we but when you uh, said we were going to be doing the show, I started doing some research on the game itself because I honestly never heard oh, yeah. it. Uh, it it was insanely popular. Uh, it actually caused fights, and there are two recorded Luibo related deaths. Basically, people got so mad at the game that they. <laughs> Uh, in two separate cases, people took the board, which is a big chunky thing, right. and hit the other person over the head. Uh, wow. Okay, that's a. I'm not surprised, but ha having played it now, I get it. Because <laughs> oh, like, if I were if I were the type of person who was a sore loser or had money on it, and the way you just won, I would have been mad. Oh yeah, I, I get it. So essentially, it was the, it was the uh, the monopoly of its time. It ruined families. Oh, oh, dude. So my brother and I, we used to play Monopoly all the time, and I hated playing Monopoly against him because in the original rule book, it says you can make up house rules. Right. Which means what he would do is he would go, "Hey, I know you're kind of low on stuff right here. I'll give you immunity on my properties right here, if." Uh, you give me $500 or I'll give you immunity here. If you give me immunity there. So we were play the game would just never end. Right. I don't think anybody has ever finished a game of monopoly. If you play strictly by the rules, it's actually not a very long game. If you like stick exactly what the rules say, it's also not nearly as fun. No. What? Oh, okay. One time. Is, is it my turn? Yeah, it, it is. Wait, so you rolled the one, one. Did you move? Uh, I did. Oh, I get to go again. Right. Yeah, you go again. Okay. I yeah. I didn't do that. I got caught up in the story of Monopoly. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, okay. So uh, let's see. Black Duke asks, can you go five to six and then six to 16? Um, okay. So no, not in a single turn. So uh, to go from six to 16 or from 11 to one, your piece has to start the turn there. Uh, so in this case, because you rolled a one, one, he could have went five to six. And then on his second roll, going six to sixteen. Yes. So as long as it's two separate rolls, you can do that. Um, and yeah, and, and that and that apparently is why Monopoly is in on stone tablets. Uh, they can't use so weapons. We had uh, at our house. We had a closet full of board games growing up, and people would give us other ones that they had. They gave us a bunch of Monopoly sets. So what my brother, myself, and our friend did. We took two Monopoly sets mm -hmm. and made one game. So right. we had both boards out on the table and we had a combination of three banks. So the idea was if you landed on any of the corners on one board, you got transported to that corner on the adjacent board. Oh, okay. So you could have pro you could have an entire property, entire side of property on one board but nothing on the other board. Right. And, uh, since so 26. Interesting. And what was my other one? Because, like, you also could have made it, like, a figure eight. Yeah. Like, 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 cross, like, free parking was your, was your, was your point with, like, the single point or whatever. And, or, like, or, like, the jail was the single point and make it, like, a figure eight track. That, that would have been a cool version of that. Yeah. I'd play so that. So, that, we set that up. 
we were like, oh, this won't take too long. It took us three days before we finally quit. Right. Because we had a stalemate. There was nothing else we could do. Right. Yeah, I can see with you know, two players that'd be difficult. If you're playing with four or five, six players, it'd be a little more a little more uh interesting, I guess. But yeah, two players would be tough for that. Yeah, it, it was it was three of us, but yeah, it, or, it's still, yeah, yeah, even uh, three, yeah. Yeah, it still did not go one and two. There you go. All right. Yeah, my, uh, my my dad won't play Monopoly at all anymore. Uh, when he played as a kid, he, he came from four brothers, right? It was him and three brothers, and they played oh. Monopoly. Uh, it got so competitive that they would actually have to make their own money. They would literally have to start producing money because they would run out. Uh, okay. And the brothers wouldn't let him stop playing. They were Wait a minute. I'm, I'm doing a takesy backsies just like just okay. like Richard did. I, I will allow it. Because he did one. So now I have the owl. Okay, so... Because you went 26, 27, 28, 29. Yep, that's correct. Okay. Yeah. So swap that to that. Bingo. All right. All right. So that was your four, right? Uh, yeah, I did both moves. I okay, did uh, two. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Four and a one. I will move. Let's see. One, two, uh, one, two, three, four, and ooh, that. I'll go two to three over one. There we go. All right. Yeah, well, yeah, the, my, yeah. My my dad would not play monopoly with me growing up. He would not do it. He refused. So I had to find other board games to play. You know, I, I, I can't, I can't say I blame him, right? Uh, because growing up with, uh, growing up with brothers uh -oh. can be, can be tough. Brothers playing Monopoly, oh my god, right? Hold on, I have to uh, do a thing real quick. Give me a moment. I'm getting quiet because now I'm now I'm like genuinely focusing. I know, like you're I'm like trying I win to this. strategize on the game. Do it. Well, I've already lost one, so like this, this, it is now a a thing. Hold on, I have to do a thing. Give me a second. Now, now you need up. um, you need your comeback. I, I I do. I would say not to call it a comeback because you've been here for years, but I I won't. Sure. All right, so. Oh. I, assume that was, I assume that was a Twin Peaks reference too. Yeah, no, no, that wasn't Twin Peaks. Oh, okay. So, oh, oh man. Oh man. Oh, okay. Also, this hat is super uncomfortable. <laughs> All right, <laughs> listen here, Park Royal hats. Get out of here, hats. Okay. I'll just keep changing hats as you change hats. It works. All right, so I got a one and a two. I'm gonna go. Let's see, one, two, and one. There, there you go, Sh Shimon got it. Don't don't call it comeback. I've been here for years. Yeah, there you go. Someone with taste. Uh, and I, I'm I'm getting advice from the uh, the audience here, and I'm gonna ignore it for a moment. But yes, your your grace, I I know what I'm doing. I see what I need to do. Uh, is it? Is it? Are they? Are they telling you how to how to win? Yes, because they love they like me more, Scott. I mean, that's fair. That's entirely fair. It's your show, man. Uh, hmm. Hmm. How do I wish to play this? Okay. I will put you here, and uh, there we go. All right. A four and a two. Uh, I don't like either of those options, frankly. Could have dinged him and put peace in. Get him, Cal. I could have dinged him and put two pieces <laughs> in. Yeah, you're, you're, you're right, Your Grace. I could have. Uh, I have. I have a reason I'm not doing that yet. Um, I'm about to get a piece on now. So we're going to go four to there and let's see, 17, 18. Yeah, you could knock that guy off. Yeah. 
I'm just, I'm just waiting for you to pull out the aha, and now the special <laughs> rule. No, I, I think I think we've covered all the actual rules, so we should be good. Uh, three, 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 three. Okay, three, 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 three. Get out of here, you and. There we go. I'm 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 actually like I'm genuinely thinking and trying to strategize. And that's going to be my downfall. Cuz the first round I wasn't playing to win. I was doing the data glove thing. Right. So uh apparently Carl's cool and all, but can he do I assume he made Cal and he just misspelled my name. But can he do more than competent dark helmet? I think I think they're asking for a dark helmet impersonation there. Uh uh, oh, that's the thing. He just used his regular voice for Dark Helmet. Right. Yeah, it's, it was. Really it was a... There is my absolute favorite exchange from Spaceballs when they're going to watch the movie. Oh yeah. And it's, I want to go back to now. When? Now. We can't. Why? We missed it. When? Just now. Yeah. When will then be now? Soon. Yep. That that is a, that, that that movie is just. Top notch. I, I, I love it. I right. I always drink coffee when I'm watching radar. Two one, two, three. All right. Uh let's see. So we had, we had another question come pop up. I missed it earlier. I'm gonna scroll back to it. I just saw it. Um I, I've lost it now. Oh no. Yeah, it's uh gone forever. Oh, there it is. So Scott, uh, the question is, what is the average land speed velocity of an unladen swallow? That's from my dear wife. You know, I actually used to know the answer to that. I kept it in my little comedy wheelhouse, but uh, I don't know. Oh. Ah! Oh, there you go. I, yeah. I, I did actually used to know the answer to that. It was... Uh, why well, didn't go that? Why? Are you I was, I'm, it I'm just. Me? I'm getting ahead, Scott. I'm getting ready. Go ahead, get... please. <laughs> what? Please don't let me interfere with your with your movement, sir. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, 17, 18, 19. Uh, it was a one and a four. Uh, it was okay, one. yeah, four, yeah, four and one. One and a four. All right. Also, I'm glad there are people out there watching that understand this game way better. Than than I do. I see, people are, people are calling us on a couple things. They, they've been uh, specifically the uh, Duke Yawn from the the Outlands. He, he's keeping track of, uh, of of some tactics things. So and it, it's it's terrible because it's a few minutes behind, so it's hard to tell. Uh, also, uh, for those watching, I would like to welcome a new special guest to the show. Uh, the other half of Scott Naris, Naris Walsh herself. Oh my God. And no one told me this was happening. There was a Facebook thing. Hi, hi Aris. How you doing? Really? Re uh, really? Was I tagged? Oh, see, that would be Richard's fault. No, that's and I don't know who that guy is. I'm, I'm terrible. Because Crystal people. seemed to figure out to tag me. I, 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 shared, I shared it the post. He did, he did share the post. Mm -hmm. Even Indiana's mad at you. Oh no, not Indy, not Doctor mm -hmm. Bones. Yep, Doctor Bones. Oh, so, uh, so so welcome to the show, Eris. Uh, thanks, thanks Hi. for coming. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself to the audience watching while we're, while we're out playing? I'm currently fighting with dogs. <laughs> That's great. Take, take your time. Oh my goodness. Okay. What did you ask me? Uh, in, in, introduce yourself. Tell, tell us who you are. Tell, tell the audience who you are. I'm Scott's better half, other than his wife. I'm not his wife. Right. His wife is technically the better half. I'm the other half, the other side of the weird Scott sandwich. That's me. That makes Go Scott the meat in a really white bread sandwich, and I'm not sure I'm okay with this. I mean... But I'm a little bit okay with it. All right, it's like Scott. a mayo sandwich. <laughs> Scott, whose turn is it? Uh, I see I your... Uh, twice. 
it's my it's it's okay, my job. Yeah. All right, no. So, so Eris, tell us. Uh, so, who you are, where you're from, what you do, all your fancy stuff. G give us your introduction, your spiel. Sorry. So, I am um, I'm Eris Eris Walsh. I um, am the other half of uh, Scott Bunny and Erisaurus. I am uh, much like Scott, a performer, comedian, artist, um, all that jazz. I have, I'm flanked currently by pit bulls. Um, and I am uh, most recently a transplant to Seattle. So mm -hmm. I am very, very far away. Um, and, which is why and very, very hot currently I heard too, right? It is so hot. I left New Orleans to get away from this. And he, okay, all right, okay, here's the thing. For those who do not know, <laughs> fun fact, guess when I found this out, by the way, the Pacific Northwest does not believe in central AC. It's right. just not a thing that exists out here. So I left the Gulf South to get away from the like ridiculous heat and all of the, the humidity and the terribleness and the awfulness. And what happens? It's a historic heat wave. It's going to be 108 in Seattle. That really sucks. Seattle is really terrible. Why would it wait, wait, wait? I don't, I don't have AC. How is this gonna work? Oh, I'm just gonna die. Oh, okay, okay. It's gonna turn into a. I'm speaking to you from beyond the grave right now. Oh, fair. Okay, fair. I died. You're yeah, coming I'm through dead. very clear. Well, you know, I was a little bit psychic in you know life, so in death, I'm just all about it. Right. Well, in, in StreamYard has good connections. It works out. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. Your grandmother says you need a haircut, by the way. But, but, okay. That, that was clearly directed to you, not to me. I don't need a haircut. <laughs> oh, yeah. So there you go. So, so there you go, folks. It's a, it's a two for one night. Uh, and, and Paris, I miss your face. You should. It's a fabulous face. It's true. I miss you, too. Not so much, Scott, but I miss you. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, that's fair. Or don't, don't be mean to Scott. That's my job. He's a oh, I mean, Scott, are you? I was here first. I mean, technically, why I was here it? first tonight. But Scott, why have you moved yet? Every single time, there's just people around me. They're arguing over my custody. I'm fairly <laughs> certain I'm mostly an adult. <laughs> no, you're not. I lived with you for far too long for you to get away with saying something like that. I That's what you said mostly. I mean, you know, at the, beginning, at the beginning of the show, I did tell them you were doing awesome nonprofit work out there. He did. Oh, yay. I am, actually. It's it's a lot of fun. Like, I was, what? my, my what? day consisted of uh, going to some of our other, um, our different locations and uh, whatnot. So that was cool. Uh, Eris, I, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to make those noises while you were talking about the awesome stuff you do. I broke the dice. Oh, yeah, yeah. How, how do you have a cocked die in a in a in a digital thing? We it's don't digital. know. <laughs> yeah, they do get cocked occasionally. I think I think it's a four. Yeah, no. So it's a, it's a, it's a three and a four if you look in the chat over there. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Cocked dice and digital dice is a weird thing. How do they do? <laughs> Which actually just speaks to the uh, the quality of the three D the three D animation that it allows that that you they actually there. understand sure. stuff. That is... so. Yes, it allows a cock die with a D four because that happens all the time. So much, yeah. Oh wait, no, it's a three, three and a four. Okay, Scott, Scott, why aren't you moving your fucking owl? Would you please move your fucking owl? No, I'm not moving my fucking owl. <sighs> Because you, you told me to remember I'm, that rule. You told you me to remember that? that rule. All right. So, so Eric, since you missed the start of the show, this is Luibo. It's a uh, it's a Chinese race game. Uh, basically, we're trying to get the pieces around to the center, and the center then becomes an owl, and the owl then gets to go out and eat them. Uh, the last game we played, Scott won by me forgetting the last rule, which is if you have five pieces on the board and the opponent has an owl that has, that has moved, then you win. I forgot that Scott got his fifth piece of board and then won without me paying attention. Scott has now gotten his owl and won't friggin' move it. <laughs> but he can't win without moving it, so we're in, a, we're in an impasse now. So the, the way I describe my strategy, dude, 
Do you remember the episode of Next Gen when Data's playing the guy with the fingers? And, like, he's super good at the game and he beats Data. And then Data's like, oh, I figured it out. I just wasn't playing to win. I was just playing to block him from winning. That's, I'm, 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 I'm fingering the game. No. Well, no, no. I'm, no. I'm telling your wife. I, that's fine. He was doing a dirty refrigerator earlier, Harris, so, you know. It was, that was a reverse In refrigerator. Public. Oh, a reverse refrigerator, excuse me. That's even worse. Yeah. All right, I know. Is it my turn? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, I, I, should, I should have apologized to my audience for warm audience ahead of time. Scott by himself or Eris by, by herself is, uh, is generally a relatively tame individual. The two of them together become quantum. <laughs> Do oh. we become Q? Because I'll take that. Yes. <laughs> just as sexy, just as terrifying. Uh, Rich, I have I have every piece on the board. Did I win again? Um, I have every piece and an owl. No. So yeah, you have to have uh, have five or more pieces on the board, but no owl, and their opponent has an owl that has moved. So yeah, the only only way okay. you can only way you can win now is to capture all my pieces. Oh, okay. Or if, so if yeah, pistons. yeah, yeah, because yeah, once you get your owl, you have to then capture pieces to to win. So ah, okay, yeah, that's the trick. So as his owl moves around the board, does he leave little owl pellets? No, no, it does not. Well, I I tried telling him that the owls are not what they seem, and he didn't get it. <gasps> right? As I've said, I've never seen Twin Peaks. I am sorry. There we go. You. Just be offended. I go ahead. Go ahead. What is wrong with you? Fix it. All right, stop the show. We gotta go watch Twin Peaks right Fix now. It right now. <laughs> there are priorities in life, folks. Apparently, Twin Peaks is one of them. I. But. I, I'm sorry. I've watched other shows in my life other than Twin Peaks, obviously. No. Well, yeah, you can Well, that that's that's okay. There are some great shows. Like under review on Geeky That's, Side TV right now. It is a fabulous show. I will say that. And you know what will make it even better? If you can actually catch the Twins Peaks references in under review oh, on nice. Geeky Side TV streaming right now. There actually are. Okay, so for people who have, um, for like the, I don't know, maybe two people in the world who haven't seen under review on Geeky Side TV streaming right now. There are uh, on the chalkboards. There are all sorts of really like cool hidden things that like test your geek knowledge to see if you can catch all of these references. So even if you have seen it, go back. There's Easter eggs you didn't know were there. Mm -hmm. There are some deep cuts in there. There are some deep cuts. <laughs> in fact, there is a there is a reference to a video game that if you can get it, I will give you a point. <laughs> I think right, one or two so, of them you have to do math. So I, I have to I have to do a thing. I have, I have to publicly show this. All right, Scott, I rolled a two and a three. I moved okay. this out of ten, and I'm going to go one, two, three, which is technically my regular piece occupying the same space as your owl, which is me capturing your owl. Okay. Or. And so here's the thing. So th this is this is we, we can we can uh, uh, we we can discuss this, and we'll let Eris make the decision. And I know she's going to decide my favorite doesn't matter. Um, Sorry, what was once, once I hit the center square, I also become an owl, which then is follows different rules. So do I take the space, capture his piece, and then become an owl, or do I become an owl and then and then hit his piece? In what order does it happen, Eris? What? Isn't the end result the same? Uh, no, actually, because because me capturing his owl with my owl only kicks his owl off the board and we're not capture it, which then we keep oh. playing. Right. So if it kicks his owl off the board, does his owl ever get to come back onto the board? He has to get back to the center and, and, and remake one. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with that because right. you haven't seen Twin Peaks. Uh, that's uh, that's fair. All right, so I become an owl, and I think that's owl off. All right. The this game has shifted, Carol. Love Dave Lynch. 
I, I, okay, I, I will go watch Twin Peaks, I promise. Yeah, you will. <laughs> <laughs> Look at being threatened on my own show now. Like You are. I'm sorry uh, if that was ambiguous in any way. You're right. I, I should know better. You're right. <laughs> All right. So I got a 1-1, one, one, so I get to roll yep. again. And then I got a 3-4. So here we go. I was also I was telling them about some of uh, some of the jokes that made the that did not make it into episodes of Under Review. <laughs> uh, They're so bad, especially in Mr. Bingle. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Mr. Bungle. That's the lunchroom. Mr. Bungle. Room. Oh my god, I don't eat like the amount of we. How many times <laughs> did we watch that video? before we settled on what, what jokes were going to actually go into the show. Oh, it yeah. Was a lot. That was... Okay. So wow. we had a, okay, so, uh, so to, to, to uh, his grace, uh, so uh, I now can't move my owl currently, for the record, so everybody's aware, uh, because Scott has five pieces on the board, so if I move my owl, Scott immediately wins. So I have to be very careful about when I move the owl, I have to make sure I've got at least some of Scott's pieces off the board first. So you will not see my owl move until I have uh, the board pared down a bit. So, Which, Aerith, uh, another cool thing about the history of this game, this game uh, has killed at least two people. <laughs> two no. two quasi-confirmed deaths. Now you have my attention. <laughs> no, it's super interesting. The game actually dates I back wasn't to... I wasn't kidding. Uh, yeah, the, the, the game dates back to around uh, 1000 BCE. And it was super popular in the Han Dynasty. Uh, after that, it sort of faded away. Right. But this game there was seems very... to be math involved. That makes sense. But, right. Yeah. Um, but the game was taken very, very, very seriously. And there are a couple of occasions, recorded occasions, where somebody lost a game and got so mad that they took the board, which was a big chunky thing, and beat the other person over the head. Oh, those are people after my own geeky heart. I take my gaming very seriously. Let me, uh, let me, I will, I will share a screen real quick that has the uh, boards in it. I'll show you, show you guys how beefy these boards are. Oh, yeah, they're chunky. They are very chunky. Yeah. There you go. So, yeah, here is the, uh, here is oh, just nice. one of the boards. Like, that's, that's, yeah, really I can long. totally kill somebody with that. 41 centimeters inlaid with bone. Yeah. That's a, it's a chunker. Nice. That's a chunky monkey. Chunky monkey. Scott, Chunky. how have you not shaved yet? Because I had an audition and then I had a callback and I went to the audition without shaving. And then at the callback, I got another audition. Oh, it's, it's a lucky beard now. That's so I just. I have. It's I have a lot of baseball reasoning. You know that, right? Well, I'm uh, on the sixth. I'm filming uh, uh, an infomercial. I get to be audience member. Audience oh. member number one. Do you get to interact in any way? Uh, if they do decide to interview me, I get a bump, which is a hefty bump. I imagine it would be like, is it for like a food thing? Like, could you possibly be eating something made out of like the sushi bazooka? That would be awesome, but no, <laughs> that's, that sounds terrifying. And yet, did you not know that I had one? No. <laughs> yeah, I, I totally have a sushi bazooka. That is awesome. <laughs> I'm not, I'm How not did I not surprised. know that? Because I totally forgot it existed until John brought it up again, like, two weeks ago. And he's like, oh, by the way, I found this in the stuff when I was going through it. And I was like, we've never used the sushi bazooka. And he's like, <laughs> no, no, we haven't. <laughs> he oh. is offended by it. Right. Well, uh, he's offended by the sushi bazooka? Yes, it offends him. Uh, Okay. As the only one of the two of us who's actually set foot in Japan, I feel like I have the, like, my opinion should, like, overtake his, but whatever. Mm, no, I don't want to do that. I'll do. So, uh, yeah. Master Shimon has, has declared you as 10 times more awesomeness. Me? Uh, yes. But apparently, I guess because you have a, you own a sushi bazooka. 
Well, That's they're all cooked. Nuts. It's a sushi bazooka. Sushi. I've never used it. This I want to use it. Please. Dude, I the the first time I used the crossbow that I got, oh my god, it was it was so much fun. I'm and, salty that you waited until we didn't live together anymore. Okay, that's not my fault. I was given money for my birthday with the ex explicit instructions that I had to buy something ridiculous that I would never normally buy myself. Right. You would absolutely have bought yourself a crossbow. Or a sushi bazooka. What if we combined the two? Crossbow bazooka? Sushi crossbow? Sushi crossbow. We put it, we just put it on a skewer and then shoot the sushi. <laughs> shoot the sushi, yeah. It worked perfectly. I love I, it. I like the crossbow bazooka idea too, because then you have like a bazooka and it like shoots a crossbow at somebody. So like, how did he die? Crossbow, but also bazooka. But also bazooka. Yeah. That is a way I'm willing to go out. There are very few ways that I am willing to be taken out in the world. That's one of them. Apparently, uh, so apparently we need a Okay, so we have a sushi bazooka, but it's a sashimi crossbow. Oh, okay. Uh, that's very, that's that very makes fair. sense. That's fair. That's Thank totally fair. So do you want to know like the absolute most bizarre thing about like when I when I got the crossbow? Uh, first of all, this will explain everything when I say that I got it at Walmart. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Not okay. only did nobody check ID, did nobody bat an eye, I went to like a physical counter checkout in case there was going to be a problem, and it was the express checkout. So I'm standing there buying a crossbow that nobody cares about, and behind me is just shelves of booze. And I, it's one of those situations where only, only at a Walmart... Could I have You've gotten... clearly never been to a Cabela. Oh, 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 I have. Cabela's are, they're like a little wonderland of absolute insanity. Yeah, yeah, basically. Like... Yeah. The 1995 Ninja Crossbow is a one-handed weapon featured on Buffy. It's the perfect size yeah. for a California roll. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I wanted one of those tiny ones. I right. really did. But they didn't have the tiny one. They have okay. like the okay. Eventually, you're I'm going to be able to shoot your crossbow and you're gonna be able to play with my throwing knives, and then everybody is going to be in a lot of trouble. Like oh, yeah. there could probably be ambulances just on standby. Once that, once that uh once that studio was built and I get you to uh, I get you to where the studio is going to be in Memphis, and we take time to to film things. So, like oh 2024, 2025, somewhere that region, probably. Well, yeah, uh, so yeah. Might be sooner than you think. All right, yes, sir. <laughs> I'm being optimistic for you. You know, three years, optimistic. I feel like I'm just going to go up like into the woods one day up here on like Mount Rainier, and just never come back down though. Right. So might need to happen sooner rather than later. I mean, I would fly up there, but I don't think they'll let me have that as my carry-on. You that's might really have little... to ship it first. <laughs> they might get a little fussy about that one. Maybe. A little bit. All right, right. Well, the beverage cart's way over there. I got this. Just tie my two <laughs> laces to a <laughs> bowl. <laughs> oh, oh, there you go. Panel idea. You can shoot sushi off people's heads. At a panel, there you go. Oh, nice. From, from Kisa. I don't know. Like, floor candy and floor bacon is one thing. Uh, floor sushi. Hmm. I mean, five second rule, like this? Uh, maybe. It's just, it's a very sticky food by nature. So. Right. I did it again. <laughs> I broke the dice again. Stop breaking things, Scott. I don't know yeah. how well, apparently you know, a, four, a four and a two. So that's registered yeah. four. I don't know how apparently. All I know, how, all I know how to do is destroy. Yeah. All I know how to do is win, win, win. So all I gotta do is in a zoom, zoom, zoom. You see, I okay. So earlier, I made uh, don't call it a comeback reference that went over his head too. How right? 
I'm a baby. I don't know. I, I don't watch TV apparently. I don't I don't understand modern That TV. is not a TV reference, first no. of all. Second of all. First of all, excuse me. First of all. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. I gotta I, hold on, Eris. You're, you're distracting me. I was winning, and now oh, I'm no. not winning. That's hold not on. what I'm here for at all. I swear. No, hold on. I'm a professional distraction. Are you kidding? This is what I do. This is what I live for. Is that is, is that on your resume somewhere? Professional distraction. <laughs> yes. Did that I reference do. also go over your head, by the way? Yes. I think it might have. I, or, or I missed it completely because I was trying to focus on making sure I could you know, have the game product. Oh, okay. I, yes, I, don't watch, I don't watch Drag Race. If that, if it was a Drag Race reference, I don't watch Drag Race. was not a Drag okay. Race reference. In fact, that was an Ursula reference. Oh. Yeah, I haven't seen that either. My dear sweet child. It's yeah. what I do. What I live for. There we go. Okay. I recognize that as a voice now. That, that, sure, that's Ursula. I, I get that. Sure. Sorry. They made you me do the Rick that. Moranis voice earlier too. Yeah. Huh? They made me do the Rick Moranis voice earlier too. Well, it's got to go with the face. Yeah. Well, oh, okay, also, so I, those of you out there watching, if you have questions for Eris, now that Eris here, please toss questions at Eris and she will answer them. Will I? Yeah, you will. He, again, he doesn't <laughs> even ask permission. He just says that's what we're doing. He will answer them. <laughs> Here's the thing. I didn't say she'd answer them correctly or without starting. I was about to say, I'll answer them, but I'm not guaranteeing the truth. How's that? <laughs> I'd expect nothing. I just said she'll answer them. She'll have an answer for them. <laughs> the answer may be go fuck yourself. We don't know. That's true. That's true. It All also right. could just be seven. Those are, they're really close. They are. Like, when I'm weighing my options, it's either seven or go fuck yourself. They're, they're just, mm, they're, they're really tight. It is. We were, dude. But b before the show, he got me uh, talking about the origins of curse words again, and yeah. God, I, <laughs> dude, I cannot, I cannot wait to get back to cons and doing that show. I love curse words and cakes so much, and it's not even just for the cake, I mean, which the we do actually bring. Right. It's true. All right. Yeah. All right, we have a question for you from uh, Master okay. Schmoll. What voice is your favorite to, to do when you're doing silly voices? Oh yeah, definitely the Minnesota mom. Oh, That's yeah. got to be the best one. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. very easy to get into, but it's a real kicker to get on out there. Oh, you know what? Well, you know, once you're in it, you're in it. It's like Dark. when you're going out to mow the lawn. If you mow the lawn and the line's not straight, you got to start over. You can't. Oh yeah, absolutely. Over. You got to have them straight lines. Now, whatever you do, make sure that when you go out to dinner, you don't ruin barbecue night. <laughs> don't you ruin barbecue night. <laughs> Take you into the bathroom and beat you. <sighs> oh, these are my friends. You know, I love them. You know. We may have a few stories. A little bit. One or two. You did this to yourself. You know that. No, I know. No, the minute. Okay. So, Eris. So, so, I know you're not seeing comments, Scott. So, so Eris yelled at me in the comments. So, I was like, well, I've got to send Eris a link now. So, I invited <laughs> this paint on oh, myself. This, Crystal technically did this to everyone. Oh, so, everyone true. should be thanking Crystal because yeah. I had no idea this was happening. I was literally driving home and I like a notification pops up on my phone that says, like, Crystal tagged me in a comment. And I'm like, all right, what's this? And it's like, I can't fathom the idea of Scott without Eris. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so, yeah. Yes, and then I yelled at Richard, about, and now I'm here. There was a comment about what the, we always assumed you guys were like cat dog. You're connected by some body part. Do you know? <laughs> Sometimes it felt like it. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. I'm dog. Yep. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, there's no other way around it. Yeah. Nope. All right, one, two, three, four. I like how we always just know. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, but what I what, what I was gonna say, I made the joke earlier that currently I look like what happens when Rick Moranis finally gives up. But a very nice person in the comments said more like the love child of Rick Moranis and Kevin Smith. And I'll take it. I Turn your head. 
Which way? <laughs> I don't care. Okay, I'll look over here. Okay, now do the other side. Okay, are we taking profiles? Maybe. You want me to slate? Yes. Hi, I'm Scott J. Carroll, uh, just outside New Orleans, Louisiana, currently with Hail Talent. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. <laughs> All right, so we have a question come up actually about the game. Where, oh, we are playing a game, in fact. Uh, oh, right, the game. <laughs> How do we decide if the owl is going clockwise or counterclockwise? All right, so the pieces always go if clockwise. If it's going this way versus that way. Thank you, Eris. Uh, the <laughs> owl can go both. Uh, so the, the owl goes both ways. <laughs> like me! There you go. So yeah, so the owl is uh, bi bi the owl is bi-directional. The, uh, the regular pawns are unidirectional. See, now I just, I literally have him stuck. Because yeah. I have every piece on the board, and if he moves his owl, yep. That's why I've, I've been waiting to get to five, and then I was like, I was like, I, I, but I can't do anything. I'm just, I keep getting. All right, so I've got a one and a two, so I can go one and bounce that guy. So essentially, what you're saying, Richard, is that you're waiting to exhale. Pretty much, yeah. Actually, no, okay. hold on. I'll go, I'll go two about that guy. I think one about that guy. There you go. I have thrown reference after reference after reference at him. And well, I'm just... so, I was focusing. I didn't even hear, okay, do it again. I didn't hear the reference. I didn't, I didn't... No, it's the uh, moment okay. has passed. All right. Sure. All right. The moment's right. gone. I was, I was focusing on the game over here. Um... <laughs> There's one person here for the game, and it's none of the people here. <laughs> That's true. Sorry, There's John. people watching you. Like the game. Um... <laughs> Oh yes. So going back to the uh, the being being bi and directional. Yes, there are, there are definitely no closets in this here corner. Uh, if you That's want true. a no closets in this corner sticker, go to the Red Bubble. We have stickers. There are Pride stickers out there. Nice. Yeah, go to Red Bubble. I, I made I made a special sticker for Pride Month. So you're gonna like send us those, right? I, I, I yes. Now, now that both you and Scott have been on my show, I have to send Scott two different three different badges. I will also send. You I've those. I've earned three so far. <laughs> How? You're making up badges that, that, uh, that has earned. For, I, what was it first non SCA guest? Yep. First actual uh, celebrity. First, yeah, and then. And then Eric gets a celebrity badge too. Right, right. But she's the um, second celebrity though. But she's she's my first interrupting guest now. That, oh, so. What was the third one? Was it because I won? I remembered a rule. Uh. No, if you had lost, you would have, you would have gotten the third one. That was the because I've never I've never I've never actually won a game on my show. But no, I, I, chat, chat, help me out. I know there was a third one. All right, so yeah, somebody come up with a third badge for Scott because I don't remember. All right, so I'm safe to move this and capture that guy. All right, and then this is super dangerous. I don't like it. And then we're gonna go. <laughs> no, Dang. sir, don't like it. Hold on, don't like it. I think I just, I think I just lost. That's what just happened. Yep, I made a boo boo. Yeah, you did. Oh well, I, I thought I had the math on it, but I don't. One two. You were on five, down four. All right, go ahead, roll it. Oh, and I get to, I get a double roll. Yeah. Let so me, you get to like double lose. Let yes, me win I, I really quick. Twice. Okay, I just won. So oh, the, the third badge was the four and one badge. That's what it was. Okay, and then I'm gonna move that here. Four and, and one badge. We, we we rolled more four and ones than oh, I've ever yes. yeah. Oh. Oh, I got another double roll. Okay. No, Scott, you don't get to go again on a three and three. Now hold on, time out, time out. Oh, what? Okay. No. You've already lost. You no, lost. No, hold you on. Lost. No. No. Keep rolling, Scott. Just do it. Hold on, time out. You moved three and three, but because you got snarky, you didn't actually move to win. So it's now my turn, sir. No, I had five. I have five pieces on the board, uh, and you, you have your pieces. owl that moved. Uh, got count. You have four pieces on the board, bro. Okay, I, all right. I have one of your pieces, and you have one of your pieces. Okay. All right, so I get another turn. All right. All right, because you. All right. Did you just somehow fuck up and not win? Yes, he just fucked up and didn't win. One, two, three. <laughs> Bounce that guy off. Okay. I still can't actually win. Yeah, I still can't actually win, but 
Uh, and then we're going to do nothing else with the other move because I'm going to Okay. All right. Go ahead. Now you can win, Scott. That, thank you for your thank you for your permission. Right. I, I see if you screw up this it. time. Because I will put this guy on the three and take him yeah. off, and I'll double stack my two. There you go. All right. Victory yeah. music for Scott. Do 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 do. There you go. All right. I feel weird that Scott won. He, he won. I won twice. twice. So he won I twice. I, I never win games on my show. It is a thing. It just does not work. So it's, right. it's really weird because it's your show. And yet I cannot win. I just cannot. Do you, do you choose games that you know how to play? <laughs> yes. I mean, I'm teaching the game. That's part of the whole show. You missed the whole first part of the show where I taught how to play the game. Wow. And on that note, uh, we're going to wrap up the evening. So let me do a little business first, and then we'll do some shout-outs and things. Uh, so for those of you uh, watching Cowboys Corner, coming up on Cowboys Corner, we have this weekend I'll be doing the SCA reopening show on Coffee with Cal. Uh, so obviously the SCA is coming back, and we're in a weird place of having to figure out how we're going to do that. So tune in on 11 o'clock Central, or Central Daylight Time and have coffee with me while I talk about that. Uh, and of course, next Sunday, we'll have you back for another episode of Consort Conversations with Duchess Nisa and the uh, What If Both Consorts Fight episodes. It'll be a fun one to see that aspect of that. Uh, what else? What else? All right. If you want to support Calvers Corner, everything we have here on Calver, uh, K- Calvers Corner and KK Productions, look at us up on Patreon, patreon.com backslash KK Productions. Become a patron uh, and get cool rewards like stickers and board games and whatnot. Or if you just want to buy some stickers, uh, go to Redbubble and search KK Productions. That is Redbubble, KK Productions. It looks like... Oh, oh, oh. There it is. Redbubble, search KK Productions. And you'll find stickers and... Uh, it's over my face. I'm I don't sorry. Know you you gotta, gotta be, be, be taller, Eric. Uh, but we this do have, never happened my whole life. We have, we have sheets that say do nightly things. And that's just... Oh, fun. the axolotl shirt. I love yeah, the axolotl. Yeah, mask. Oh, yeah. Yay. So there you go. Uh, Scott, what do you have uh, from for coming up? So uh, coming up, uh, we are wrapping up the first season of uh, Convention Circuit Entertainment Spotlight over on Disney Side TV. Uh, we uh, are in the early stages of planning the next bit of uh, under review. Once I get Eris in the room, things are happening, and we have plans for under Ooh. review. Uh, keep your eye out on Geek Inside TV. There are some big things coming. Um, and my current plan is to not get washed away by the storms this summer. Fair, fair. That, that's, a, that's a good plan. All right. So, Eris, you got anything coming up? Um, honestly, the main thing that I have coming up is when we are able to get under review back up and running and, uh, get to those awesome stuff that we've got going on there. And then I have uh, two or three projects that um, are kind of under the wraps. I'm kind of working on. Um, But mostly I am uh, trying desperately not to melt in Seattle. And uh, I am enjoying the fact that I don't have a tropical storm named after my Nazi dog coming there. So sorry, Scott. There's and a few on, steps that are missing in that conversation. Yes. Yeah. Uh, on that note. Lisa, <laughs> had you not right. noticed the name? No, I know. Dr. Indiana Thanks. Bones, archaeologist. Yeah. And uh, Dr. Elsa Schneider. Elsa Schneider. And the tropical storm that's coming is Tropical yeah. Storm Elsa. I just saw that earlier. It made me smile. It's, it's going to snow and stuff. <laughs> all right. And on that note, folks, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Of course, thank my, my guest, Scott, and my interrupting guest, Eris, uh, who I would love dearly uh, for, for coming on and hanging out. Uh, and thank you all for watching. This has been Eris, Scott, and Cal in Calvar's Corner. Have a good night, everybody.